storms are brewing. Java like tight corners, but not tight uniform. Ah, I can't wait. This field trip to the Marion Museum is going to be so cool. Not sure what world you live in, but in mine, museum and cool don't go in the same sentence. Oh, come on. What's cooler than discovering our maritime heritage? Boring. Exploring famous explorers and viewing artifacts? Boringer and boringest. Learning about the history of pirates? Pirates? Cool! <gasps> and they even have actual relics from the infamous pirate Captain Blood. Oh, when I was a kid, my dream was to be a pirate. Really? My dream was to be an Olympic gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> dream? <laughs> More like a nightmare. Don't listen to him, Diana. You should totally try out for the gymnastics team. And not just because we have these awesome jackets. <laughs> We've got matching pants, too. You're right, Jenny. I should try out. You, a gymnast? Please! You're the poster girl for uncoordination. Oh, yeah? Watch this. <laughs> Maybe you should stick to something safer, like the gardening club. <laughs> I want everyone to stay with the group and pay close attention, because what you learn will be very useful for your history projects. Love chocolate coins. Yeah, you might even like them better if you unwrap them first, Jock. Now, let's hunt for some real pirate relics. Off limits to students. Huh, good thing I'm not much of a student. What relics you want? Ones that belong to Captain Blood. Who? Captain Blood. He's this legendary pirate said to have supernatural powers. So it's only natural we investigate, right? Not sure you should. You watch activated. Eye cutter selected. Hmm. Java should have stayed on bus. 21, 22, 23 seem to be one student short. And I have a pretty good idea who's missing. <laughs> this is the greatest school trip ever. <gasps> Maybe that was a real pirate's leg. Pirates were made of wood? I'd better not find mock mystery inside that room. Could have sworn I heard something. Hmm. Huh, that was close. Too close. Whew, Java doesn't want to lose job. And we better bail before Mr. Hook comes back. Just watch what I do. Stay tight in the tuck. Keep your arms straight. And stick the landing. Got it? Tuck, straight, stick. Got it.
Nobody saw your humiliation. <laughs> uh, except Martin. He's not laughing at you. Look. <laughs> This belongs to you. Uh, come on, classmates. Who dares challenge the mighty Martin? More like the mighty mouth. Ah, Jared, the class champ. A worthy opponent. Ah, uh, Martin, the class chump. A worthless opponent. Gymnastics really gets the appetite going. Are you gonna eat your apple? It's all yours. Aha! Um, Martin, why are you stealing apples? And why are you putting a breadstick in your sock? Watch that talk, little missy, before I give you a taste of the cat. <laughs> Here you are. Enjoy the captain's bountiful booty. That's so cute. And the puffy shirt and ripped pants are totally funky. Ugh, the only funky thing about those ratty clothes is the smell. Well, I love your 70s look. 1770s look, that is. Hmm. Much obliged. Gangway! Oh, hi, matey. <laughs> Much obliged, Gangway? Who is he fooling with that lame... Oh, hi, Martin! I'm Gang and Way! <laughs> Bucko, Mr. Hook wants to see you stat. I think he knows you were goofing off at the museum. Uh. Yeah, and on the subject of goofy, um, why is Blinky the bioclass budgie on your shoulder? Tis my parrot. I discovered him myself. Tis no parrot and you're no pirate. Uh. Oh, what's up with you? This whole pirate thing is totally played out. Hey, Martin. This way old school pirate look is totally in. Are ye mocking the captain? No, captain. I mean, uh, Martin? Hmm. Did I say something wrong? No, but something is seriously messed with Martin, and I'm gonna find out what. Arr! Mr. Mystery, you're just in time. I was watching the most interesting program, starring you and the school bus driver. I have no time for ye. Tis treasure I seek. Why are you speaking like a common pirate? And why is the biology class budgie on your shoulder? I'm no common pirate, and tis no budgie. Uh, well, please return Blinky at once and hand over any treasure you may have removed from the museum. Then we'll think of a suitable punishment. Arr, I dare you to place your hands on Captain Blood's medallion. Captain Blood's medallion? Uh, Martin, are you sure you're all right? Arr, perhaps a visit to the school nurse. <laughs> What's going on here? I, 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 I can't see! Oh, oh, oh. oh my! Oh. Martin, what are you doing? Stay away from me! Spirits of the fallen pirates, I invoke your power! <laughs> Not right to go in Martin's room without permission. Martin's the one who's not right, and this is the only way to find out why. Huh. Mm, okay, but you go first. What's with the rope? And the map? Martin just keeps getting weirder. Maybe planning trip? Uh, but it's a nautical map, and Martin doesn't sail. And a compass? He's definitely going somewhere. We'll sail whole right after I grab the map. I know where Martin going. His room. Quick, Java, hide! 
again, Java, too big to hide. <laughs> you wanna be a gymnast? Gotta stick the landing. Ah! Ugh, stick the landing, not stink the landing. <laughs> Who goes there? Uh, Java goes here. Not for long, ye don't. We're a sight for sore eyes, aren't we? Arr, 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 arr. Arr, arr, arr. You okay? Arr, ye be the one who aren't okay. Arr. Arr, the girl went that way. Let's get her. Never mind her. We have treasure to find. But first, we'll need a vessel. Arr, arr, arr. Funny. I was going to say the same thing. What happened? Looks like this place was ransacked. We were ransacked by pirates. A delusional pirate version of Martin and his crew of bandits, including Java, marauded the center. Oh no. I knew Martin was acting strange. That's why I came here. Where is he now? You mean Martin or his alter ego, Captain Blood? In between ours and Gars, I heard them absconding with the center boat. Captain Blood? Oh, they had relics of his at the Mariner Museum. Let's check the legend X about this Captain Blood. According to this, Captain Blood was a supernaturally possessed 17th century pirate. His lifelong mission was to locate the Red Rose Ruby, a treasure capable of turning into a giant red ocean. And powered by the lost treasure, these red waters will have the powers to resuscitate his fallen pirate mace in order to dominate the world. We better stop Martin before he succeeds where Captain Blood has failed. But where could he be? I have some idea. Hmm. I'll enter the coordinates and send you through a portal. What about Martin's U watch? Yes, he dropped that when he was here. Use it if necessary and bring Martin back to me. Nobody shackles mom. I'm on it. Men, any pirates chasing the Red Rose Ruby are bound to face some rough waters. The last time I was about to join the medallion with the Ruby, I awoke the pirate spirits. The Ruby was lost once. We will not let that happen again. Arr! Arr! Where to now, Captain Blood? The supernatural powers of the medallion will guide us back to the Red Rose Ruby near the banks of the mighty Black River. to dive in head first. Captain Blood. Gangway mateys, and be on lookout whilst I plunder the Red Rose Ruby. Arr! Unhand me, pirate, before Captain Blood boils! I'm not a pirate, and you're not Captain Blood. You're Martin Mystery, my very annoying stepbrother. And I'm here to stop you from doing something really awful! Captain Blood, stopped by a lass! What lass? I am, and this lass is about to do something very unlassy like. <laughs> Arr, you'll meet the ropes end for that one, bucko. First mate hook, grab the ruby. Uh, hope I don't get detention for what I'm about to do. Uh, Java, it's me, Diana. You're under Martin's spell, and it's my fault. I made you go into his room, remember? <laughs> Take that as a no. Ah, forget the lass. I've got what we came for. Or no! Arr, spirits of fallen pirates, I command you to rise and join Captain Blood as I take over the world!
this work, the waters are turning red. Once my army is gathered, the world will become Captain Blood's pirate planet! <laughs> You're not friendly, zombies. Maybe we can talk this through? Help! Somebody! Or better yet... <laughs> not even good enough to impress the zombie gymnastics judges, huh? Uh, fine. You don't want to talk? Then you leave me with no choice! And I choose to run! <laughs> before it's Red Sea, population me! Look out, Captain Blood, I'm right behind you! Uh, at least I will be eventually. You watch activated. Turbo Bungie selected. Aboard Captain Blood's vessel. Arr, make the last walk the plank. Mm. Uh, the last would rather run away. <laughs> you want activated? Arr, tis a tool of the witch. Get rid of her. Mercy. My loyal pirate zombie army might have something to say about that. Oh, that is so not a fair fight. <laughs> Diana? What are you doing here? It's a long story, or more like a pirate tale. You were under the spell of Captain Blood, and you took our history teacher and Java along for the ride. Captain Blood? Oh, it must have happened when I took that medallion. What is going on? And why does my head hurt? Uh, I was in the middle of my very elaborate final project about uh, uh, hypnosis in pirate times, and I hypnotized you, and you kind of hit your head. Uh, sorry about that. Really? I don't remember you doing that at all. Very impressive work, Mr. Mystery. Mm. Oh, good, the bus driver is here. Could you drive me home? My head feels like it was in the middle of a pirate fight. I can't believe he fell for that. I can't believe I put my teacher under a spell. How cool is that? Trust me, it wasn't cool. And neither was shackling Mom and ransacking the center. I shackled Mom? That is so... Uh, not cool. Indeed. Which is why we must keep the medallion out of harm's way. Agreed. Here, better keep the medallion out of Martin's way. I'll place it in a locked box in my office. As soon as Martin's through cleaning it up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
you're not really trying out for the gymnastics team. Are you like a glutton for embarrassment? Your last jump was front page news in the paper. Look, I may not be graceful, but if my gymnastics skills were good enough to save the world, I'm thinking making the gymnastics team will be a snap. Let's hope that snap isn't the sound of broken bones. Diana, as your friend and as someone who faints when they see other people hurt, I don't think you're ready to try out. This jump is way complicated. Trust me, I can handle it. Okay, so I can't handle it. But at least I stuck the landing. That was sweet! I think you're good enough to start your own team. The gardening team. 